Are you looking for professional training in forensic mental health? In terms of what we're going to cover today, you'll see there's a number of topics. We're going to get to um, uh, some preliminary stuff with respect to ethical decision making, spend a fair amount of time on issues of role and role differentiation, uh, spend a fair amount of time on privacy, maybe talking about privilege, distinguish that from confidentiality, informed consent, challenges when considering collateral information in uh, forensic evaluation, some forensic assessment challenges, record keeping and documentation, uh, fees, and professional responsibility issues. So that's kind of what we're uh, covering, a strategy for responding to ethical and legal challenges and dilemmas. And if you, ever, if you pick, a, pick up any book on uh, uh, practice ethics, uh, you'll see some some formula like this or some kind of strategy like this. Um, there's some variability across authors, of course. But um, many people talk about what it's important to do is identify the principle or the principles at issue. So you realize that there's some kind of challenge here. Is, is this a matter that involves privacy concerns? Is it autonomy concerns? Is it issues around your competence or or whatever else. What, what are the general principles that are relevant here? You can kind of look at it this way, right? Some things you absolutely must do. The ethics code requires you to do this. There's some things you're barred from doing. You cannot do this as a function of law or as a fun function of professional practice standards. And there are some things that are permitted that may or may not be advisable. My approach is the majority of things are neither required nor prohibited, right? If you think about the things a psychologist must do or can't do, it's relatively few. Most of it is the psychologist is permitted to do, and then the question is what's most advisable, what's the best course of action. So think about that. To learn more about Concept's professional training opportunities, visit us at concept-ce.com.